Yeah, what's up guys, Grand Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey break, another create my own boom box hockey break. That's right, we got this nice little box here. You guys know this is my take on the boom box. It's my little spoof. A lot of people do loose pack openings. This is basically that, but I kind of make mine themed most times. Uh, and today is definitely going to be a very cool theme. Uh, and I just pull from kind of a box. I kind of try and amass a whole bunch of loose packs. I keep a box normally of a couple hundred plus packs. And I just kind of randomly pull uh, some days. But today was not a random day. This one has some some theme to it for sure. You guys know some of my cool theme ones out there, like looking for McDavid, uh, Pittsburgh Penguins breaks, and different things like that. This, I hope, is going to be a very cool one. But uh, that being said, let's see if you guys can guess what kind of box this will be based on the background card. So first up, a close-up view of my 1516 SPA Future Watch Auto Patch out of 100, three off the jersey number. PSA 8, Connor McDavid. Heck of a nice card there. Quite a bit of value, obviously. I'm going to put this one on the left side. Definitely one of my favorite PC cards here from 05, 06, my BGS 8.5. Uh, let's show you guys the numbering up there. If you can, there you go. If we can get that to focus-ish. Well, trust me, it's a 79 and 100, if you can't see that. 79 and 100. Same thing as the McDavid, but this is the uh, yeah the future watch auto patch, very nice of Sid the Kid, again BGS eight point five. Center stage, not the most value, but just a cool card. Uh, just got this one in the mail. This is just for my PC. Again, it doesn't have tremendous value, but it is pretty cool. I like the card a lot from oh five oh six. Not the player you'd think. Future watch auto T Rex Max Talbot. That's right. 9-1-1 of $9.99. Uh, really cool card there. Been wanting that one for a while. Didn't pay tremendously much for that card either, as you can imagine. It's a pretty cool one, though, for sure. Uh, know that guy quite a bit from different practices I used to go to and, you know, parking the players a lot and stuff with the, the players. Back when they were in Mellon Arena and things like that, talked quite a bit with Max Talbot. I could tell quite a few funny stories about him maybe one of these days in the future. Uh, things like when he showed up to practice drunk, you know, that was always a, a pretty wild time. But, uh, yeah, guys, let's check this out. If you haven't guessed by now, what's the common theme here? They're all SPA products. So guess what, guys? We are going to do as we open this up and I pull my customary one touch that I threw in for myself. And hopefully we're going to fill that for sure today. We got a box of all SP, well, not just SPA, but SP because in the 90s they had a lot of SP stuff. But SP, SPA packs of all over the place from all over the years. Nice big old stack and some possible tremendous hits in this. Um, I don't even know how many total packs. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve packs. Let's see what they are. We'll lay them all out, then we're going to get to busting. So 16, 17 SPA starts us off. I will tell you guys, even though it's the year of Austin Matthews, as pictured there. His uh, Future Watch Auto, I am uh, pretty much 100%. It's not live in here. It's a redemption. So that would make me cry. But there's a lot of other big hits we can absolutely get in here uh, that we're definitely looking for, for sure. We can talk about that as we get to it. 1415 SPA. Very nice pack there. Some old school stuff. This is 96-97 uh, SP. I guess we'll put that in its own kind of pile, the SP stuff. 1819 SPA. 1920 SPA, the prices have just gone through the roof on now with that. 1718 SPA. Some more older school stuff here now. 1112 SPA. I've had a lot of luck with 1112, that's why I threw in a loose pack of that. 1011 SPA. 9697 SP. And actually, this, the heck, this must be a 9596 then, honestly. Yeah, right, we'll come to that in a minute. 99 2000 SPA, 2000, 2000, or I'm sorry, 2001, 2002 SPA, and yeah, the big bad boy right there, 05, 06 SPA, yeah, we'll save that for last. So we're probably going to do the SP stuff first, uh, we'll go early old schoolish stuff here, so let's do, how about we do this one right here, the one that's labeled 96, honestly, I don't know why it's slipping me here, obviously this is 96 and 97. This just says 96, so normally that means 95, 96, but that doesn't look like 95, 96 as I recall it to look. Could be wrong, though, and this might just be 95, 96 SP. Uh, yeah, 
they actually have some odds. Maybe give you guys a little bit of the odds and stuff if you want to pause and check that out because this is not something you see every day. Let's see what the heck we have here. I don't even know if I've ever opened these ones. Some of these I won't know until I actually open them up. But oh, now I'm remembering this because you would see this in 1516. They did uh, the, the throwback to this. This is going to be 95, 96. Um, a little bit of card stick. I'm just trying to separate these to make this flow a little bit better as we go through these cards. And all right, here we go. So Saku Koivu starts us off. Flip it around for the Beezer, Johnny Van Beesbrook. Oh, that's what that was. A little die cut there. Matt Sundin. Stars die cut card there. You can check those out. I actually remember these now. Lucky Luke Robitaille. Turn it around for Shane Corson. Dougie Gilmore. Eric Fischard and... Oh, wow. Is that, that's kind of cool on a sort of personal level. Jason Botterill, uh, premier prospects there for Canada. Um, so, yeah, that's a former Penguins assistant GM that, uh, as probably most of you guys know, went on to Buffalo. Was fired from Buffalo. Um, and, yeah, Jason Botterill, he was going to be the kind of step-in guy there if it wasn't for Jimmy Rutherford. And then he was supposed to be the heir apparent to Jimmy Rutherford until Boston scooped him up and then... Thought maybe he would come back before the Pens brought in Ronnie Hextall, but uh, no. But uh, all right, 96 and 97. Let's do that. Let's see what we have here, uh, other than some stickage. Actually, the stickage isn't that bad. Oh, wow, is that some shine and rainbow to that? So, David Wilkie starts us off. Roberts Valley. Svaley. Lucky Luke. It almost looks like it's a parallel, but I don't think it is. Just Lucky Luke there. Ziggy Palfy. Helmet list there for the Isles. Ray Bork. All time great. Alexei Koval. I've loved him when he was on the pens. There's a nice Roman Turk. Premier. And last but not least, the Dominator. So that's some pretty cool old school stuff right there. Not something you see every day. That is for sure. Let's do next up, I guess, the 99-2000. I think everything left now is definitely SPA. So let's check the 99-2000 stuff. Let's see what we have here. I think this is the first ever time I've opened 99-2000. Um, I honestly do. And Max Afinaganov starts us off. Of course, we have to flip around there for Vinny LeCavalier, Eric Lindros. Uh, David Legwan, I thought that was stuck to something, but it's not. And Ziggy Palfy again. And I know I was telling you guys I was going to show you odds, so sorry that I didn't show you the packing. Some people really like this, and I mean, when do you really see this kind of stuff? Uh, so this was the pack we just did. Oh, the odds are all at the bottom. Okay, so there you go. If you want to pause and check that out. And then the 96-97 pack that we did prior to that. Uh, not many odds there. They are right there at the bottom so all right that being said guys let's get going here 2001-2002 spa show you guys this right up here there are your odds pause check it actually not even really odds they just kind of tell you the stuff you can get but here's where we're going to start to really look for autos now all the remaining packs definitely have chances for autos the future watch autos sign of times things like that um, and, it, you know, hopefully the goal here is to pull at least one, if not two, uh, future watch autos would be very nice. There are actually any autos, as long as it's a cool player. Brad Richards starts us off. Uh, oh, Johan Hedberg, the moose. I couldn't even read it there. The moose for the pens. <laughs> Busy trying to read the name instead of just looking at the player. David Legwand. Behind him, Valerie Bray and Dominator, Dominic Hoshek. So there you go. Valerie married to Candace Cameron, a.k.a. DJ from Full House. Oh, where to go to? These are all great packs. Um, I guess we'll kind of stick to chronological for the most part, other than that 05, 06 pack. So 10, 11, SPA. Let's do that next. Let's hope, hope, hope for some luck. Uh, I have no idea if we have anything in here. I've not opened. Maybe I've never opened this uh, for 10, 11. Cam Neely starts us off, though. Gina, right behind there. Patty Hornquist. 
Joe Pavelski and Roberto Luongo. So just a base pack there, I guess. Really kind of definitely the first of those packs I've ever opened. This is 11-12, and this feels very thick. I'm going to assume it's a decoy, but you never know. Maybe we got lucky. I don't know. I have a few of these packs, and I just grabbed one of the random ones. Uh, it's not from a box. I picked these up loose. From a the store, there's the odds. i got to keep trying to remember to show you guys the odds on this if you want to pause and check those out. But let's see what we have here. I'm going to say it's a decoy. And it's definitely a decoy. But that doesn't mean we don't have an auto. I've only opened a couple boxes of 11, 12 in my life, but I've had some seriously good luck. I think one of the boxes I did here on the channel last year leading up to the uh, the release of 1920 SPA, and I think I got like seven autos out of the box. It was just insane. So Derek Waugh, or Roy, I'm sorry, Patty Sharp, Jacob Voracek, Robert Bortuzzo. This, yeah, that is the decoy. Uh, and that is going to be Scott Goma. So just a very thick decoy. So and no autos again. That's unfortunate. And almost all these packs came from a, um, a couple different hobby shops. So it's not per se that they were searched or anything like that. These aren't just like, you know, one pack from eBay here or there. No, these are you know, hopefully all unsearched. Honestly, I'm going to go, I, I am going to mix up instead of chronological. I'm going to go 17, 18 because some of these other packs have insane potential. So 1718, let's do it. Brock Besser would probably be the best one to pull out of here. Big thick decoy. Uh, looks like a rookie or milestones is going to be in here, so no auto. Tater starts off. Wayne Simmons, and it's going to be Timmy Solani. Rookie or milestones. Big old decoy. Mark Shifley and Mark Giordano. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually going to do 1617 for the fact that Austin Matthews is not live in here. So, and I think I actually missed the odds on that 17-18. Most of you guys are probably familiar with the, the newer stuff, but there's the odds there. And since I'm doing it on every single other pack, I don't want to leave anybody hanging. If anybody's really trying to see the odds on every one of these, here's the odds there. You can pause on that point and a little bit up there if you want to pause and check there. But I don't think you guys care so much about 17-18. All right, so 16-17, Young Guns update would be pretty cool, too, to pull, like, the Jake Gensel. I'm looking for Jake Gensel. You can get Tristan Jari in here as well. Um, you know, those are all pretty good ones. Got something black. There's no way that's a black future watch auto. I would lose my mind. It's a Silver Skates. Interesting. Silver Skates. I don't remember those being in here. But uh, Corey Crawford, Morgan Riley. I'm going to pull from the back since we know our insert's going to be in the front there. Goose nuts off. Tower to Foley, big old decoy, and that silver skates is going to be Patty Kane. Patty Kane, interesting. Do not remember those being in here, uh, but obviously they are. Not opened a ton of 16, 17. I've opened a couple boxes, but not a ton. So Patty Kane, silver skates, probably one of our better cards of the break so far. Let's do, I don't know, 18, 19. Look for the Elias Pedersen or Carter Hart. Or Andrei Svechnikov, or just many, many others. Sperry Cut Kanyemi, on and on and on. And unfortunately, we're just going to have uh, a limited, uh, probably, I'm sure, non auto. D Boss, Kyle Connor, yep, Nico Heischer. Just that little kind of red parallel, so we're not going to have anything in this one. Big old decoy, Jake DeBrusque and Will Butcher. Coming down to it, three packs to go. Let's do our, eh, you know what, Let's save that one. Let's do the 1920. Let's get Nick Suzuki. That would be really tremendous. I take another Kel McCarr or Quinn Hughes, though, among many others. I mean, there's some really good ones in this rookie class. I actually already have the Kel McCarr and uh, Quinn Hughes. I've pulled those so far on here. Uh, you guys, search my SPA videos. You can actually see the cards pulled. Oh, we got a future watch. Hallelujah. We did get a future watch. I hope it's an auto. It might not be, though. I'm not sure. I'm going to actually set aside. Because who the heck knows? We might not have much of anything in here since we're down to the nitty gritty. All right, 1415 SPA. I'm not sure, honestly, off the top of my head, guys, if David Pastrank, that's a good, hopefully, ominous sign in a good way. The great one on the back there. But uh, not sure if, like, David Pastrnak is live in here. He would be in, you know, 1415. Dry sidle. You know, I'm really not sure, guys. 
Ryan O'Reilly starts us off. That was Zidane Char right behind there. I think we might have something different. I, I really do. I think we got a future watch auto. I'm actually going to show you guys that base, Wayne Gretzky, and the Tyler Johnson. And I'm actually going to set this aside because that could be huge. Or I could be completely wrong. I don't know. 0506 SPA. Let's do this. If it seems like we have a future watch, you better believe that's going to be the uh, end card that we're going to show of the whole break. Because, come on, guys. I really need to tell you, Sid the Kid. You know, among others, for gosh sakes. The grade 8 Alexander Ovechkin. Um, Henrik Lundqvist. Just, oh, my gosh. Just insane potential in this. So David Ashbusher. Oh, Mario Lemieux. We just need a different pen. I thought maybe it was something different. Miro Shatan. These are both upside down. I think it's just going to be a base pack. I don't even know why I'm slow rolling it. Jason Allison and our final card, Yogs. So, unfortunately, nothing doing in the 0506. All right, 1920. Let's see what the heck we have here. We definitely have a future watch. I don't think it's autographed, though, in hindsight. But we'll see. Doug Hamilton, limited of nephew Tyler. And is this going to be its non-auto? Yakov Tranin of 9.99 non-auto future watch. So we at least did get one future watch out of this. So let's hope that we got one auto here. 14.15. It's our final card because that's a decoy in the end. We already eliminated the others. Let's see, guys. Let it be something big. Come on. Hey, uh, yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah, guys. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a way to end the break. Nice. William Carlson. There you go, guys. Your Vegas Golden Knights. I know it's a Ducks card, but your Vegas Golden Knights, you guys should like this one. That's a good one right there. And that is 841 of 999. Nice, of course, on card auto as these future watch autos are. That's a good way to end this video. That's a nice pull for sure. So we did hit two future watches, one auto, one non auto. The 1920 one's right there, but this is definitely by far the biggest card of this break from 1415. Definitely saving the break there. William Carlson, that's a nice, nice pull. We're going to actually one touch that up here momentarily. I'm not going to prolong the video to do it, but. Uh, that's a good pull. Very good pull. Show you guys even the back of it for anybody that wants to check that out. But that's a good one. So sweet, guys. Sweet. Definitely turned out to be a sweet little break. I was starting to worry there. Please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, great night, wherever you all are at. And we will see you next time.